Kelly Kondratik in the left side. Taylor Vetter in the right. The two young ladies that haven't yet run quick enough to be a part of this. Kelly driving the injected nitro car. That's Marina's machine. Her best, 5.50 seconds. Taylor Vetter, she's driving a red line car over on the right side. Now, that is a supercharged alcohol burner. And Taylor has not yet been a half track under power. Both of these cars are certainly capable of running 5.44 seconds or quicker. But it's not a matter of telling me that, well, we know we can do that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not from Missouri, but show me. Show me. Taylor's got a national event win under her belt in this car. And did it in wild fashion out there in Pomona, if you follow the Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series. If you finish the race fishtailing and then put it up on two wheels and up against the wall down in a shutdown area. But won the race. Working with Nick Janik and the Plan B Motorsports folks for CP Carrillo, Torco Race Fuels. And Kelly Kondratik will help them write trailers, powder coat finishes, Lucas Oil. Better than 5.44 seconds, and at least you got a shot to race today. If they both want in, Dan Dietrich is 15th at 5.42. If they both run quicker than 5.42, then at least for now, they'll both be in. And Dan and Sarah will have to try to fight their way back in for a shot to race later on today or to go home at DNQ. That's looking pretty good. That's looking really good. 538, Taylor Vetter makes it. 559, Kelly Kondratik does not. Disappointment on the Napa side as Kelly Kondratik runs 5.594, 259 miles an hour, and comes up short a tenth and a half. Taylor Vetter, first time that red line oil car has got in high gear this weekend, and it went 538. Now, normally, 538, you go, okay, that's a pretty good run. In this field, 538 is 14th best. 14th. No kidding. Madison Payne sits number one at 525. Two thousandths behind that is Mike Lewis, also at 525. Summer Richardson at 526. Dean Dubbin at 528. you got to run a 520 to be in the quick half of the field. 